all about sharing information, and it makes a lot of sense. Federal agencies like ATF and DEA know where the guns and the drugs are. Now, if they share that information with Detroit police, hopefully they can catch the criminals sooner and put them away for longer. It's good news on behalf that uh, someone's showing that they care. Bill Young, who volunteers with the North Rosedale Citizens Patrol, is pleased to hear about the Comprehensive Violence Reduction Partnership, a collaboration between the Detroit Police, Wayne County Sheriff, State Police, as well as the federal ATF, FBI, DEA, and U.S. Attorney's Office. The partnership will share information about drug dealing, gang activities, and gun running to crack down on violent crime. As we reduce violent crime in the city of Detroit, we reduce all of the other kinds of crimes that affect the quality of life for people in the city of Detroit. The burglaries, the auto thefts. In just its first two weeks, the partnership has arrested several career criminals and seized an arsenal of illegal weapons like assault rifles. They've also arrested several known gang members. The cooperation should speed prosecution and perhaps have the criminals face stiffer penalties. All the citizens who live in neighborhoods deserve a high quality of life that's free from violent crime. Law enforcement is also enlisting the help of community groups. We don't have to live like this. And we need to stop the violence and to move to another direction. If we can eliminate or certainly reduce, greatly reduce violent crime in the city of Detroit, I think it'll uh, increase hope and it'll increase uh, the opportunity uh, for people to become homeowners, become business owners. Uh, we want people to come to the city. We don't want them to run from the city. And this area of the city, northwest Detroit, is beautiful, Rosedale Park. But other parts of northwest Detroit have had real problems with shootings. And that's why the partnership is going to focus here first. Once they can get the crime level down in this area of the city, they're going to target the next worst area of the city. Reporting live in northwest Detroit, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7 Action News.